Hello there. Where am I, do you ask? Funnily enough, I'm actually at the side of a motorway, but I found this amazing little spot to start, let me, to start this video. It is foggy, rainy, miserable weather. And today, we're starting NC500, attempt number two, fingers crossed. The, the successful attempt this time. But we're about two hours outside of Inverness right now, which is, I don't want to jinx it where I broke down last time, just outside Inverness, but we're heading back to Inverness and um, we'll see where we are when we're in Inverness. We may camp there tonight and then start again tomorrow. I'm just going to see how I feel. We're not in a rush. I want to be calm, relaxed, and really enjoying taking this trip because it's been a long time coming. So join me on this trip to the NC500. I'm sure it's going to be an absolutely epic adventure. Let's go. Okay, so just to give you guys some visuals of this trip. So I originally started out in Edinburgh and the last clip you seen was filmed just here outside Perth. I'm then going to make my way two hours north to Inverness and then just outside Inverness is Shannonry Viewpoint which will be my first stay of the night. After this I'll be then heading, despite what you see here, up the coast on the road and not on the North Sea, up to Duncansby Head Lighthouse which is the most northern lighthouse in the UK. After this I will then make my way through John O'Groats and again via the roads and not the North Sea I will be making my way to Durness Beach. After this I'm going to then drive down to Ullapo where I'll spend another night and then I'm going to make my way to the Isle of Skye, the very famous Isle of Skye where I'll spend a few days travelling through the Isle of Skye to Portree, to the Old Man of Storr, to Ruba Harnish the fairy pools and then I'm going to make my way back to Edinburgh and not go down Glencoe or Fort William because I've done that so many times before and I'm limited on time. So as some of you may have seen an older video I have attempted the NC500 before in my Land Rover that was actually the last trip in the Land Rover until I um, until I unfortunately broke down. That was a few months ago and we're onto newer pastures new now um, which is exciting so Fingers crossed we have a, a better experience in the van. Um, it'll take as long as it takes. I'm estimating around five days. Could be shorter, could be longer. It really just depends, but we're uh, we're doing it, baby. So let's get en route to Inverness and uh, I'll see you there. <laughs> change of plan but only minor. Um, I realised the grocery store is actually before where I was heading to in Shan Shannonary Point. Um, so I've stopped at the grocery store. I'm going to pick up some uh, groceries for this next few days and then um, and then yeah I need to get some kind of food. Um, I'm hoping there's like a, I, I think I've seen a KFC back there so I may just stop off and get a cheeky little KFC vegan burger or something like that because I'm starving. The place that I was originally going, Shannon Re Point, is only a 28 minute drive, so I'm going to go to KFC, try and get some food, go to Shannon Re Point and then try and find somewhere around there to sleep for the night. That is the game plan right now. Okay, so I've found the KFC, which is great news, but let's uh, see if they actually have a vegan burger. Hi, welcome to KFC, what can we get you today? Hi there, can I go for the vegan burger and drink, please? Yeah, no problem. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, just Pepsi Max, if you have it. Okay. Ah, yeah. No worries, thank you. I don't know what KFC done to their chips, fries, whatever you want to call them, but oh my god, they changed the recipe and they are amazing. The seasoning is on point. Let's get the hell out of this little busy city centre bit.
sometimes things in life are just too good to be true and there is no way I'm going to be able to find a place to camp down here surely because if I am then I'm in dreamland oh wow stunning wow right we're here this is stunning I might even risk it staying here overnight honestly Wow. Good girl, you have been so good today. I'm going to go and read the sign and see what it says. There's no actual physical gates where if somebody comes up and knocks on my car tonight, I don't know, but let's have a look. I definitely don't mind paying, important notice, Highland Council. Okay, so it's the council. Packing of vehicles manufactured or adopted for the purposes of sleeping. Mine's is not manufactured for the purpose of sleeping. Mila, we might be sleeping here tonight. I think I might risk it for a biscuit tonight, you know. This is such a good location. The worst that's going to happen is somebody's going to knock on my car and say, get moving, but that's what it is, isn't it? I'll be away by nine in the morning as well. Is there seals? Can you see them? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I heard there's seals around this area, actually, but... I see some, like, I live off, just at, like, the corner there, but there's... Is that one there? That is, in fact, a seal right there. Not that I can prove it because my camera is not zooming in that much, but those are seals, which is awesome. Okay. We're going to head back to the car, eat the rest of our KFC, get cleaned up and plan for the night. First things first, it is always clean me up because she's so low to the ground, she's always dirty. <laughs> she says it's not her fault she's so small, but you know, there is a big dog on the horizon and I'm gonna get her in the car before she sees it and thinks that she's a seven foot bull terrier. My van is so dirty, it's actually embarrassing. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly tidy up the back of the van here because it's so messy with the shopping. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh. oh my god. I just want to lie here like a slob. <laughs> I don't think it's the best time to be practicing your gymnastics, girl. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Hey! Whoa. Let's just turn that light down a little bit. Listen to this, okay? Just, just, just listen. It has not stopped raining. What was it? Like, like an hour ago since I last spoke to the camera. Um, I've... Even though it doesn't look like it, I've some what packed some things away. Yes, I am still sitting on the floor because my dog has stole my my seat. Um, how can I make this look more flattering? Um, it's eight minutes past five, which now officially means you don't have to pay to be here. So I think I'm good now. I don't think anyone's going to come personally, but um, you know I can start getting relaxed for the night. This is bad lighting.
So, the guy with the dogs, um, I seen him on his way back here about 40 minutes, 30 minutes ago. And then I expect him to get in his car and go. So I never heard anything and his car was still there. So I was like, I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, I was just chilling and I heard, like I seen a white light sort of bright. I think it's just the lighthouse. But I just heard him, he was right outside my door there. And I was like... Is that the dude with the dogs or is that somebody else? And then Mila started growling as well. So she equally spooked us. <laughs> but I mean, look, it's not that late. I think there might be more dog walkers even tonight. Who knows, you know? Go. Oh, they're cool. They're spooky. Got. Um, what else do we have? Mm. Bit greenery in here. It's quite cool, actually. I quite like the green. Oh, blue. Getting funky with it. I think we're going to keep it on. Actually, red's quite nice, but I'm not going to do that for now. Not too warm. We want a warmth in here. Okay, cool. Probably should find somewhere else other than my snack drawer for Mila's treats, but... <gasps> Caramel digestives. What a vibe. Indeed. Boom. You're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. I don't think it's going to be a late night tonight. I mean, it's like 6 p.m. and I'm already like flagging, so. cup of tea is done now it's time to relax I definitely think these lights are too bright though good morning <laughs> Oh, it's so cold in here. My alarm is set for 6.30 a.m. But I've just stayed here until 7. Treated myself to an extra 30 minutes. Because it's freezing. It wasn't cold last night. Um, Like, sleeping in the sleeping bag. But now I woke up, I can feel it. It's cold. Okay, let's get some heat. Wow. Need a... I don't really know. And it's surprisingly very mayo this morning. What a horrible noise. Cheers to you. I needed this coffee. Oh, oh nice. Thank God I bought this because that is a big pain in the mornings when you're car camping. I highly recommend. Okay, so let's hit the road. Yeah, I'm gonna head to the public bathroom, which is seven minutes away. Overall though, that was a very successful night. Never got anybody stopping me, knocking on my van, which was great. Had a good night's sleep. The noise of the airplanes and the buzzing actually helped me. It was like my natural white noise. Um, I would have liked to stuck, a, stuck around a little bit longer this morning, but 
you know, as much as I don't want to rush it, obviously with the limited day light thing, like I was planning on being away by like eight-ish, but it wasn't light enough. So it's 20 past nine now. I've got about a two and a half hour, three hour drive to John Oak Roads. Um, on that note, it's been a great first, uh, first day on the NC500. Stay tuned for part two. It will be up very shortly. Have a great day wherever you are. <laughs> Have a great day wherever you are in the world. Goodbye. Good morning, welcome. My name is Jack Cook. I'm currently near a point called Shannonry Point, which is uh, the start of the NC500, which is the trip I'm embarking on. If you haven't seen part one of this trip, I recommend you go and watch that. The link will be in the description. But yeah, we stayed over in Shannonry Point and now we're heading to somewhere called John O'Groat. We're a little bit delayed this morning. We've had a little few things delaying us, but um, we're going to head there now and get to John O'Groats and then maybe a little bit further depending on how the day goes. But um, if we can get to John O'Groats today, that'll be great. It is a stunning morning here. Um, absolutely stunning. Mila is desperate to get on the road. And to be honest with you, so am I at this point. So as much as I've loved it here, it's time to get going. Hello, I'm coming, I'm coming, I promise. I promise I'm coming. After a day yesterday of constant rain, I am not complaining that it's sunny this morning. Makes driving a little bit trickier, but uh, we'll take it. I'm not gonna annoy you. What are you doing there? What happened? What the fuck is there a seal in here? Oh, he's pissed, boy. I ain't there to ruin his day. And we have made it. Wow. back in the car and we're going to the John O'Groats signpost now which is pretty much the centre of John O'Groats now from what I've heard there isn't much to do in John O'Groats so I don't think I'll be sticking around too long so after John O'Groats I'm going to make my way to Durness I don't think I'm going to stay or make it to Durness tonight just with the daylight available because that's like another two hours away but I'll make up 30 minutes or something like that find a good place to uh, to call it a night get, the, get a cup of tea on the go and uh, yeah chill out for the evening but honestly these this is one of those moments where I'm like shit I actually done this it's been so long in the making and uh, to make it to the most northernly point of Scotland at 31 it's you know I've lived here my whole life well I'm from here I've not lived here my whole life but you know what I mean it's, it's an awesome moment and I really do feel it right now look at that stunning and by the way what weather we have for it as well so lucky because last week it was snowing. I'm pretty sure this is. 
is literally the makes of uh, John O'Groves. There isn't much here apart from a few cafes and stuff. And that's fine by me. I wasn't planning on staying around here anyway. Look at this as well. <laughs> so cool. Oh, I promise you didn't much, miss much anyway. You're fine. Okay, um, as much as I'd like to stay around here more and, and you know, see the see the sights, I really want to, we've got like an hour's worth of daylight left, I think. So, um, I want to get going. I really want to get settled for the night now. I'm, I'm ready to sit down, stretch, have a cup of tea and just chill. Um, it's been such a great day. Such great weather as well, man. Honestly, what an amazing trip so far. I'm going to have a look on my map, see where I'm going to aim for for tonight. And uh, yeah, take it from there. Okay. So, we have found a location, so um, their nest is about, oh my god, that is a horrible car crash. Their nest is about a two and a bit hour drive away, which I'm just not going to do tonight because it's just, I'm too tired and I don't want to. So, I'm going to drive an hour um, and hopefully find a little space. I looked on park to park tonight and uh, there's a few areas, a few car parks, so yeah, I'm going to make my way. Wow, that's a proper van lifer. Look at that rig, that is insane. Come on then. It's got a little bar. This is such a perfect area actually tonight. It seems quiet. It's by a beautiful area. Other van lifers there, which always makes you feel a bit more secure. And um, yeah. What a day, it's, it's just been such a great day today, honestly. Like, I've just had such a good day and I'm, I'm feeling so good. Like, the first day yesterday, I hope I, I, hope I didn't look, look like too much, but I was a little bit nervous, a little bit like, you know, when you're driving to somewhere you've never been before in this remote part of Scotland, it is sort of remote compared to like the cities, or the city I live in. But I was a little bit anxious and uh, now I'm feeling great. There's still a long way to go, obviously. Um... Right. Right. Oh, yay, yay. Like an old man. First things first, get these big, big boots off and get the Ugg slippers on. That is the first key point to coziness. Ah. Oh. It's like a treat for my feet. Oh my god, it's so nice. What a treat. What a treat. I'm now going to have my tea chill out for like 10 15 minutes and um, taking today's thoughts and then start getting dinner cooked so i'll see you in a bit hello there <laughs> with my house <sighs> my small little house so the time has come i need to cook some food i don't know what to have <sighs> this is what i'm craving guys this is what i'm craving bangers sausages cheese on a little bit of bread and Bob's your uncle, apparently. I think because I'm craving that so much, as much as I want to actually cook up something, I'm not gonna do that today. I am going to make the easy option because that's what I feel like. And if that's what I feel like, that's what I should do. Um, could put a little bit of greenery in there just to make it feel healthy. What we got in here? We have bread uh, we do have an avocado sausage avocado and cheese mm, that sounds quite nice actually right <laughs> let's put that green thing away and have this green thing instead 
Right, I think we're good. I think that's what we're going to have. Easier, kind of easiest option, but um, it'll be quite good. So, right. I have to admit, like, the constantly having to move stuff around is not a vibe. Um, but again, once I have a proper build in here, everything will have its own little storage compartment. There'll be a food unit. Um, there'll be like space for everything which right now that's the only downfall about this build is like I'm having to constantly move things off a tub off a container and blah 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 you get the point anyway I'm gonna stop complaining I need to empty that out um I need to move this mat for a second and we need to get cooking all right with a little bit of magic Gas is on. This burger sauce was reduced to 13 pence in Morrison's on the clearance, so I love a bargain. How's commuting? What do you mean? Have a good day. No way, was he? <laughs> You've had dinner. You had your dinner already. You had that dog food stuff. This is my stuff. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Mila's apparently waiting for it too, but what does she know? She's getting nothing. Mmm. No. You know you're not getting that. Right, it is just past 7 p.m. Dinner is done. Now time to get the bed sorted out. Ooh, ah, ooh. I do apologize for the inconvenience caused. But can I move you for a second? Can I move you for a little second, Mila? Right, one second, wait there. Wait there, I'm gonna just flip this little bed out so we can cozy with it. Right. Now we just sit here for a second and we think about the next steps. Time to edit and relax. I'm really digging these red lights. Like, I, I think they just make me feel a bit calmer. This is horrendous lighting, I'm not gonna lie, it is not complimenting me at all, is that? I mean, it kind of makes it better. Um, green? What the hell? We're at that time of the night where it is like 9pm now. I've done a little bit of editing. I'm gonna settle down for the night and get some shut eye because we have an early start tomorrow. I definitely want to get up earlier and get an earlier start on tomorrow than I did today um so yeah I was just overly tired this morning but anyway it's a good night for me and a good night from ah you can't even see her she's literally already let's <laughs> go ready for kip anyway good night and I'll see you in the morning good morning <laughs> It's literally been raining all throughout the night. It is very cold as well, so I think we're going to start by putting this heater on. <sighs> These winter mornings, it makes it so difficult to get up. Especially when it's so cold. And I'm so warm in my little sleeping bag. I think that guy's leaving just as I've got up as well. The men.
Okay, well, on that note guys, I mean, like I said, this is a long old journey, so I'm going to end this current video right here. Let me zoom in on my disgusting face because it's not been showered for two days. But I'm going to end this video here. Um, I'm heading to Durness Beach now, which will take, it's only 50 miles, but it's going to take me nearly two hours just because of the roads. Um, but yeah, tune in for the next video, which will be that. I'm heading to Durness Beach, and then I'm heading to, hopefully today, Ullapool, but we'll see how we get on. Thank you, as ever, for watching this video, and have a great day, wherever you are in the world. Boom! Good morning. How are you all doing? Where am I? Are you asking? Well, I'm actually at the Betty Hill viewpoint right now. Um, basically, I am the most northernly point of Scotland I could be or close to it. Um, I'm on day three of my NC500 trip. I've just pulled over to admire this absolutely stunning view. Apart from the two wind pillars there. But... I'm just admiring the beauty of this country. It is absolutely stunning. However, as mentioned, this is day three of my NC500 trip. I'm currently heading to Durness Beach, and then after that, I'm going to make my way to Ullapool, where I think I'll stay over for the night. I'm not sure where yet. And then after that, we're going to make our way to the Isle of Skye and then down Glencoe, etc. So. Please join me on this third day. I really recommend you watch video one and two if you haven't already, um, just so you're you know, in line with the trip. But this is Scotland. I'm doing the North Coast 500, the famous North Coast 500. And um, it's been an absolute blast so far, and I'm only halfway through it. So um, after that last shot, I was about 10 minutes up the road and I realised I filled Mila's food bowl up and put water in it for her to have something while I was filming the drone shot. I left the dog bowl. <laughs> so I'm heading back to the parking spot to get Mila's food bowl. And she didn't even eat it. <laughs> ah, Mila. I say ah, ah, Mila like it's her fault. It's 100% my fault, not a dog's fault. Look what I nearly left. I nearly left it. I did leave it. No, some wild animal ate all the food, unfortunately. the guy a friendly little a friendly little hello and he's like what the fuck is that that one <laughs> okay we're at Durness Beach uh let's go you wanna go you wanna go for a walk bit muddy already a bark get the noise of a motorbike lovely okay, what the hell is that I'm not going to see what that looks like. It's like a prehistoric dildo. I said it. I said it. <laughs> not that I know what a prehistoric dildo looks like or what that is. A dildo from the olden times. 
Come on, watch your little legs. Do you want me to carry you, princess? Uh, oh, I'm in the water. One second, wait. I'm going to actually carry you over these things. Last thing we need right now is an expensive vet bill. Welcome to Darnest Beach, girl. Gonna... Yes. There's one thing this dog loves other than treats. It's uh, a beach. She loves a beach. You love a beach, don't you? She loves a beach, she loves a beach. <laughs> That's so cute. Ah, wow. It is beautiful, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, but to be fair, there's obviously not going to be turquoise waters in winter, but um, nevertheless, wow, I'm so glad I made it here. Look how stunning that is. It's crazy. One minute I'm in the mountains, next minute I'm in a beach nearly white. I think the tide is coming in, girl. Let's stay across this area. Look at this. Milamu. Little, little bridge. Where are you? Wow. You can't come in here, you'll, you'll get washed away. <laughs> right, I think we should go up and get you, get you dried off. She's chasing a bird, look at the side of the bird. Mila! <laughs> That's nasty! <laughs> Poor little bird's just trying to enjoy it and you're chasing him. Alright, I'm going to get some uh, Weetabix down with me and uh, dry Mila off. And then we'll see what the plan is. It's nice to get some sea air in the lungs. Nothing like a bowl of Weetabix with a view. <laughs> okay, we're caught in a rainstorm. Woo! On a really dodgy road. I can see that we're in a under a massive rain cloud at the moment, so. Hopefully we'll be past it soon, but um, yes, it's uh, it's not ideal on these tiny little windy roads. I mean, just look at this. There's a little house over there. See that in the distance? Who's is? I wonder if somebody's living there. That's my ideal location, just surrounded by water, <laughs> so I don't have to have neighbours. Wow. Mila, maybe what do you think, Mila? Mila, what's your opinion? Get me in that bloody car. It's freezing. She doesn't want to cry to come out here. She wanted to come out. Okay, so I'm apparently nine minutes away from Ulla Pool or the community center swimming pool that I'm planning to visit. But I still feel like I'm in deep mountains right now, so it's a little bit weird. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm going to be in some what civilization or some sort of civilization in nine minutes. You know what I mean? I don't know if you've ever been in that position yourself. Maybe we'll just come out of the mountains and then the town is there. But I, I've never been to Alapu. I don't know what to expect. I, I, I mean, it's fairly civilized, I think. Um, and when I say civilized, I mean it has grocery stores like Tesco's and stuff. I think. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong actually, maybe I've got the wrong end of the stick with Hullah Pool, but we're aiming for this swimming pool slash gym, um, and like I say, I'm hoping I can use the washroom facilities so I can shower, because I've not showered in a few days now. Yeah. Down because it's awkward. Get 
good afternoon. How are you? Hello, I'm all right. Good yourself? to hear. Very good, thank Very you. Good. Um, I'm looking to essentially just use the, the shower facilities. I'm on the NC500 right now, mm -hmm. uh, so essentially pay for a swim, I guess, or? Yes, that's very normal. That's it's all right. It's very normal. <laughs> uh, we... Just as I expected. Not the most glamorous of showers, but as long as it has hot running water, I'm absolutely fine with it. So. Um, I'm not going to record too much just in case somebody walks in a bit awkward in a changing room. Um, but let's look at this shower. <laughs> and I feel like a new woman. <laughs> I do make myself laugh sometimes if I say so myself. Right, let's see Cry Baby over here. Was it that dramatic? Was it that deep? I told you I wouldn't be long. I told you I wouldn't be long. I told you I wouldn't be long. You're just a crybaby. You want a pee pee? I'm gonna go for a little wander, one second. Right, now is the question. What do I do with myself? Do I, uh, it's okay. You go for pee pee. It's okay, you go for pee pee. Go. Oh, that shower has done me wonder and I feel so much better. It's crazy what a shower can do. I even breathing differently. I could breathe in this fresh air and fire that I'm smelling. Anyway, I don't know what to do. It's what time is it? It's like 2 30 pm. I'm debating whether to find a cafe here, charge up my Mac for an hour, and then find somewhere local to camp for the night, or do I go further? I'm kind of tired and done with the driving today to be honest with you, so stopping isn't a bad idea, but I don't know. I'm gonna let Mila do her business and then I'm gonna decide. Okay, first things first, I am going to go to the Tesco because for lunch, I want to cook up some sausages again. And last night that cheap ass burger sauce just did not hit it. So first stop, Tesco. Okay, so I have an idea. Um, I looked, I searched for pubs on, um, why is that light still on? I searched for pubs on, in Ullapool and there's one here called the Waterfront Bar and they've got car park spaces. Now I would like to go for a beer later. I'm gonna go and ask them. I don't wanna try and, you know, be sneaky. I'm gonna go and ask them, look, I wanna have a few beers here in an hour or so. What is, a, can I park my van up for the night? I'm gonna go and ask them. Let's see. The worst they can say is no. Um, switch off light. Okay. Let's see what they say. That was closed. That's not a good start. They're closed. Right. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just park here for now and suss it out later. I think I might just move my van across. Okay, we've actually moved from that other spot because it looked like the hotel was like getting renovations and there was a lot of builders still there because it is only three o'clock and it was just a bit awkward because I seen them all looking at me. Um, thinking who the hell is this dude <laughs> so i kind of just left i've came to this area here which i've seen on park tonight it's not too bad actually um it's not too bad at all it might just do the trick what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cook some food right now because i'm absolutely starving and um, feed mila and then i'll suss out i might even go back to that bar once the bar's open just so i can ask somebody look can i stay here tonight um, and have a few beers, that would be great. And then if not, I can always come back here because, you know. So that's the plan, basically. When I say, honestly, the hunger in me just came out of nowhere. So I made myself another sausage sandwich with the leftover sausages I had. Catch up on this, so much better.
Good morning to you all. It is cold, it is rainy. Oh, I don't want to get out of my sleeping bag. It's so cold. Look at me, I doesn't want to get out. Ah. Oh. Listen. The rain is heavy. Very heavy. I'm usually somebody who, who likes to go up at like 6 o'clock, pack up and just leave early. Um, but because it's been so like dark and cold in the mornings, it's just it's really difficult to get up. I just want to like cocoon in my sleeping bag and just lie there forever. But um, yeah, I mean it's still, it's still very dark outside. Okay, let's go outside for the first time this morning. Oh. Okay, it's not raining at least. Oof. There's a car there and a van. Tell you what though. It is not cold at all. Definitely not cold. Come here, come here, baby. Go for peepees. Come on then. Oh. Go for peepees. I think now I'm going to end this video right here because I'm about to embark on my next adventure to Portree, aka the Isle of Skye and what's probably the thing I'm most excited about is going to the Isle of Skye somewhere I've always wanted to go, I cannot wait so I'm going to end this video here and start the next one so thank you so much for watching this video I really recommend you watch the previous two or three videos now I've lost track watch all the parts before this Join me on my next adventure on the next video as well. And uh, yeah, have a great day wherever you are in the world and I will see you very soon with another video. Goodbye. Welcome to day four of my NC500 trip. No, this is not a green screen. This is truly just how beautiful the Scottish Highlands is. I mean, I barely want to stand in the camera. Look at it. Today is day four. It is um, just past nine o'clock in the morning. I've just left Ullapool and I'm heading to Portree. Actually, I'm heading to Sligachan Old Bridge first, then Old uh, Portree. And then I'm going to make my way um, and adventure the Isle of Skye, which has by far been at the top of my bucket list for a long time. It's somewhere I've never been and it's somewhere I'm so excited to visit. It's been a dream of mine for a long time and I can't wait to get there. We have a two hour drive ahead of us, two hours and 30 minutes actually. It's not long, it's 50 miles, but the roads in the Highlands are just like this constantly. So obviously it takes a lot longer, but... Please join me on day four of the NC500. There's gonna be so much adventures today and so much beautiful scenery. So if that's your thing, then stick around. Okay, so we are about an hour um, Head now from when we last spoke. I'm going to stop and have the sponsor of this video, a bowl of Weetabix.
there isn't much to see here really. I'm just having a, just having a quick stop to uh, eat my cereal and I really want to get back on this road. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did ask again, I always ask, there's no pop cups available. Girl, we don't, we're not in the city, right? We spoke about this. The Highlands don't have pop cups. It's not, it's not a vibe. They should make it a vibe because these poor pups like you, yeah, exactly, eat your steak. Right, good news. I got coffee in Hector's Bothy Cafe Bar and um, I got to use the bathroom, which is great. There's a bathroom there, a public bathroom, but it's like you have to pay to get in and I don't have change. And I was like, well, if I'm paying, I'm, I'd rather pay for a coffee and use their free bathroom. So, yeah. Whoa. All right, that's the vibe. Pause. Uh, we've got 37 minutes to slig a chain, old bridge, and then we're basically in the sky, so let go. Hold your horses, girl. I mean, damn. Right, let's go and see. Now, Sliga Channel Bridge. The myth of, I don't know if this is what it's famous for, but the myth of Sliga Channel Bridge is if you dip your face in the water of Sliga Channel, or under the water of Sliga Channel Bridge, you're granted eternal beauty. Not that I need that, because I'm naturally beautiful. But, adding an extra little boost of beauty might not, you know, do us any damage. So, we'll see. But, in all seriousness, wow, look at this. Jeez. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to kick you, Jesus. Damn. Damn, girl. Look at you, you little tail wagon. <laughs> it's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. How awesome is this statue, by the way? Mila. Wow. <laughs> kind of a special moment to myself. Stop it. Mila. But Mila, let's not, because I'm trying to get beautiful. Right, let's see. I better be beautiful tomorrow or I'm going to be pissed off. Here, you need some. <laughs> I've been calling this Sliga Channel Brit. Sliga Channel Bridge, I bet it's that one. <laughs> nah, this is definitely Sliga Channel Bridge. Time to head next to Portree Village. And then make our way to the old man of Stor, I think. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do Stor today or not. I don't know, I need to look to see, is it? I'm not gonna climb obviously the, to the top of Stor because I'm just not prepared for that. But I do just want to see it and get to a position where I can take a few nice photos and stuff and then I'll be happy. So I'm going to get there, see what the vibe is. If not, camp around, do it tomorrow morning. If yes, do it today and then camp probably around there anyway. And then yeah, that's the plan. So we're actually in Portree, but I don't know what the vibe is. 
all of a sudden I'm starting to feel really sick and I don't know why. I don't know if I should go and get some soup or what I should do, but I'm not feeling the best right now. So I am debating on what to do. <laughs> Hard night? <laughs> Why are you so tired? <laughs> I'm just sitting on Google Maps looking around the area of Mila. I just catch her in the corner of my eye. She's like, like an old man. <laughs> Oh my baby, you've got such a hard life just sitting here in a car sleeping. Oh, it's such a hard for a little baby like yourself. I just done you dirty there, didn't I? Right. I'm now craving soup with some bread. So I think I'm going to go to that co-op, walk back there, grab some soup go to the store, park, eat my soup and my bread, and then visit the store. That's the plan, I think. So let's go and get some soup. All right, let's go. I mean, this co-op, I think, is just around the corner. Am I underestimating this here? <gasps> Noodles and rice? Oh my God, this is open. Please be open. <gasps> no. No. Noodles and rice would have been amazing. Oh, I'm so gutted. I'm so gutted. I don't know why Co-op has the majority of shops up in the Highlands because it's a shit shop. But, yeah. It's gonna have to do. Right, let's find some soup. <gasps> Lentil soup, vegan Moroccan. Vegetable soup it is. I don't want anything creamy. Okay, so. We have our soup and we have an extra pack of biscuits because I've ran out with other ones because I've ate them all. And uh, we are 11 minutes from a car park that is apparently quite good if you want to do the old man of store. So I am going to head there now, park up, cook my soup, have some soup and some bread. Hopefully that makes my stomach just, I think the problem is it was the same like yesterday. I've had too much caffeine and not enough like carbs or something in my body and I'm just feeling um, a little bit sick now so I'm hoping some soup and bread will do me right Yep, here comes the rain I'm driving into a rain cloud Oh my god, I don't know if you can see that away in the distance probably not on this GoPro but I can see Star and he looks like he is an old grumpy man today this is sick I know this is probably a stupid idea but I have le I have not eaten my soup I've decided to have a slice of bread and cheese um, and I'm just going to try and do as much as I can, maybe like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. The reason is, it's 2 o'clock now, there's about an hour and a half left of daylight if I'm lucky. And to be honest with you, I don't want to be walking down this in the dark with Mila, so... That's why, basically. It's as simple as that. I need to get on with this ASAP. Where's the old man of storm, baby? so sick you remember how I said like five minutes ago that I would um, that I just was gonna risk it and not eat anything but well, like, definitely the risk never paid off I I'm so tired or I feel fatigued and sick I think I'm gonna there's a, a place in park tonight that is five minutes away I think I'm gonna drive there now and see if what the vibe is 
to be truthfully honest with you, I could just cook here, but I don't want to. Um, I'm just going to leave, try and cook some soup up, and then decide whether I'm going to, you know, I, I don't know what the rest of the plans are tonight, but I need to, like, take some time just to chill out because I'm not feeling my best right now. I think I'm like a little bit mixed emotions and you know I think it's important in these videos to not always show like yay there is some you know real moments as well where one I'm pissed off at myself that I just couldn't do that two I feel like I'm going to vomit and I'm now like getting grumpy at myself and everything's just like bleh so it's fine you know I think I'm just needing to take five minutes to myself um, cook some soup get something improper in my stomach some vegetables definitely and uh and hopefully that'll make me feel better <laughs> this little park up is going to make me feel so much better i mean god look at this man just look at it. oh my days now that's so stunning. Look at that. It's like I'm in another world. I'm going to wake up there and I'm going to have my coffee right there. And I can see store. Bloody store. The only issue is it's a little bit on a slope. Not going to lie. Drive up there. Well, I could drive further up here actually. I don't want to though. The holes in the roads, definitely. Don't. I'm gonna park here and be happy with it. That is amazing. Ah, oh, stunning. Like I said, it's a little bit not sl <laughs> <laughs> Maybe no one else finds me, finds her actions as funny as me because I'm biased, but <laughs> she's just so silly looking sometimes. And I love her for it. Okay, this is making me feel so much better because you can actually, there's a gate there, you can go there and just sit there. This might be one of the best locations I've had so far on this trip. Okay, a tour bus has just literally pulled up right now. This is interesting. Am I, am I parked in a tour location? That's hilarious. With a bunch of... <laughs> I kid you not, there is now three separate tours going on in this area. So I will give you your own tour of this area as soon as the tours go. Unfortunately, I can't bring Mila down here because there's sheep and she will run and chase all the bloody sheep and cause havoc on the end of a mountain. I don't think that mixes well. What a place, man. What a place. That soups gave me a new lease of life. I'm feeling on top of the world. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Look at the sheep. They're like, who the fuck is this? Fuck <laughs> Sorry, that's that's the last one. Right, I'm gonna walk away. Where did they even come from? They weren't there about they must actually trail the mountains. Oh, oh no! My cheap tripod has officially bit the bullet. It's done, broken. I've been using a really cheap tripod for a long time um, and it's finally bit the bullet. The leg is broken on it. To be honest with you, I'm kind of glad because I've hated that tripod. If you're ever going to buy a tripod, think of what's on top of the tripod. Is it expensive? Because so many times I've had my phone or camera on a cheap tripod in the past, it's blew over and I've broken like a 500 pound lens or something like that, or broken my phone screen. It's never worth it. Buy a good quality tripod. 
because that's my plan after this because now it's all wonky. Anyway, handheld shots from here. Sorry kids, don't have a spare. I'm gonna make it up to you by showing you this absolute beauty. Here's the beauty, you're welcome. Sorry, a little dad joke there. Ugh. Oh. Feed this to my soul, man. I'm not going to be able to see a lot of sky on this NC500 trip, but I'm coming back for a solely dedicated trip to sky. In the very near few months ahead, I am coming back here again because honestly, there is so much to see here, and it is probably be one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to in my life. Let's get some pile in here, baby. It's raw, but I'm just gonna throw them in there. I'm not even gonna chop them. Let's let's just see these off. Okay, I think they're pretty pretty much done for my liking. I don't know where I would be without kitchen roll. You know that, like. It is a saviour on camping trips. Like, it's just everything. It's everything. Kitchen means everything to me. I'm sat here holding my pan with my spoon so it doesn't slide. What is this nonsense? <laughs> it's just crazy. I don't even know what's wrong with it. I can't touch anything because it's so hot. Maybe it's the metal thing it's sitting on is not improperly, but it's too hot to touch and it's just like, this is the easiest option. I'm just gonna roll with it. It's nearly boiled, but then I have to cook the gnocchi for a few minutes. Holy smokes, don't burn yourself, silly boy. Get in there, Nox. Baby, we're in business. Look at that bubble. Right, bubble and squeak. Right, let's get that off. Oh my God, it's jelly in here. It is cold. I tell you what, out of all the places in the last few days I've been, Sky has for sure been the coldest out of them all. Gnocchi and tomato in bowl. Now all we need to do is add the pesto and then we just give it a little mix together like so and voila! Mmm, okay, it's not too bad. When I go camping, car camping, I like to cook a nice meal. I don't know why, it just hits the spot a bit different, but on this trip I knew I had a short amount of time and a lot of driving to do. So I was like, nah, there's no fancy meals. It's just quick and easy. Right, I'm gonna take my contacts out and then get in bed. Oh, okay, this is the nightly routine. Mila likes to crawl in here and go literally to the bottom of my sleeping bag like a little troll right on that note i am gonna put on some netflix 
and drift off to sleep. Ready for my last day of adventure tomorrow. See you in the morning. I don't know if you can see me right now, but good morning. <laughs> it's so cold this morning. It must be like at least zero degrees right now. It's so cold in this van. I mean, Mila are shivering our timbers. Our timbers are officially shivered. Oh my God. That's the dreaded noise you have with these heaters when it means that the gas is about empty. And to make matters worse, that is my last canister for my heating. And uh, I've still got another night to go. So I think I might have to rely on the, on the car's heaters for the next 24 hours because it's about dead. No! I'm going to go up this way a little bit because <clears throat> the tour is here. And Mila needs to go to the bathroom. And she's barking at them. Let's go up here, Mila. What a beautiful morning. So lucky to have been able to stay here last night. Probably one of the nicest locations I've ever stayed at. And I know I've said that a few times with different locations, but genuinely this is one of the best. I mean, look at this. Stunning, no? Apart from potholes in the road. And we've got the old man of store just there. And I guess this is called this store, this whole part. One day we will come back to to tackle that. But today is not that day. We're gonna head up to Rubahanish. Sounds Indian almost. We've got a 35 minute drive ahead of us. And uh, obviously as the theme goes. I am going to end this current video here with this beautiful backdrop. This is day Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This is day five. It's my final full day in, uh, on the NC500. Tomorrow I will be making my way back to Edinburgh. Um, traditionally, I think you would you would do like spend time in the Glencoe area, um, Fort Williams, etc. I've done so much of that that it's not really something that I'm, you know, I want to do tomorrow. So I'm instead going to make my way back to Edinburgh and then have time to prepare for my next trip, which is the tour of England, essentially. Some of this Scotland and Wales as well. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, please join me today, I guess, on the next video after this, day five. Uh, the final part of the NC500 trip but for this current video this is the end I hope you've all enjoyed the trip I will see you very soon with another video have a great day wherever you are in the world goodbye Good morning, my name is Jack Cook, I do car camping videos and I'm on day five, my final full day of my NC500 trip. I'm currently, well I'm currently about to head to somewhere, a viewing point called Rupahanish. I don't know why I said that in an accent, Rupahanish. I think that's how it's pronounced, probably not. But anyway, please join me on this full day of exploring the Isle of Skye on the NC500 route. It's gonna be my last day, which I'm sad about, but it's gonna be a great adventure as well. We're going here, then we're going to the Fairy Glen, we're going to a few beaches, it's gonna be a great day. So join me, let's go for this 2.5 kilometer trek first.
I honestly didn't know there was a two point, well, two and a half kilometer walk to get here. But uh, yeah, here we are. Why did I always wear the wrong shoes at the wrong time? I've got nice big brown red wing boots. I've got hiking boots and I've chose to wear my white trainers. What an idiot. But I'm too far in now. Can't be arsed going back. Wow. Mina. Wow. I feel like I'm in Lord of the Rings or something like that. So cool. I'm not gonna lie though, I really hope it's just here. Because I am ready to walk back <laughs> and get some breakfast. Ah, uh, I really need to stop being so unprepared to these things, man. I stop winging it and just like prepare more. I'm usually a meticulous planner when I go on vacation. I don't know why I've took these things so blasé when I should be planning for these things the most, you know? Hey, I planned some of it. I just didn't plan the actual excursion part, which is my downfall. So I don't know if I've actually explained, but I mean, River Niche is the northern tip of the Isle of Skye. Um, and I just thought it would be nice to do it, to be honest, a few while I was here, especially because I've never done store yesterday. I really wanted to do at least this. Oh my God, we made it. We made it to River Niche. Oh. Holy sh, oh my God, look at that. Ain't that something? A little rainbow just to congratulate us. That is amazing. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> Besides my cry miniature dachshund, Mila, here. You know what really always is what I think is noticeable in these situations is how quiet the world is when there's no humans about, you know? No cars, no just street noises, no nothing. It's just so quiet. I absolutely love it, honestly. It is blissful. The rainbow is even more noticeable now. I sit here in these moments and I really think to myself, surely this is what life's about, right? Is witnessing these kind of moments and with the short time that we have on this earth, we sort of see these natural beauties and see as much, and that's literally all I want to do. I want to see as much of this kind of beautiful, natural, beautiful stuff as, as I can before my time on earth is, is done. My shot's done. My turn is done. Coming up to the NC500 has done nothing more than fuel that desire even more, you know? It's insane. And the world is so big as well, and like this is only a tiny proportion, a tiny, tiny, tiny part of how beautiful this world actually is. I have big dreams. I want to see a lot of Africa. I want to see a lot of India. I want to see a lot of Asia. I've got so much I want to see. But for now, this is absolutely perfect. Hey, mate. I'm just having the, obviously, the famous Weetabix. This video, I promise you, is not sponsored by Weetabix, especially at their prices. And, um, yeah, the next thing we're going to do is head to the Fairy Glen, which is a 30 minute drive. To be honest, I'm glad just to not be walking for 30 minutes and driving, so I'll take it. Okay, we are going, and a small change of plans. So, I actually done my research 
just now on the Fairy Glen and as beautiful as it looks, I've kind of got to make decisions, you know, this trip isn't a Isle of Sky trip, it's an NC500 trip, I can't see everything in the sky as much as I want to. So I'm going to pass on the Fairy Glen, it does look cool, um, but for another time, what I am going to do and what I want to see, just to see it because it looks so magnificent, is I want to see Dunvegan Castle, Dunvegan Castle, Dunvegan Castle, which is an hour from now, and then we're definitely going to go, going to go after that to the Fairy Pools. So, um, yeah, we're not going to the Fairy Glen anymore, but we are going to Dunvegan Castle now. So we've got an hour ahead, let go. that's obviously usually the main entrance I'm hoping I can walk along here and get a view of it though otherwise this was a stupid waste of time but we'll see <laughs> okay that's definitely taking me away from the castles which is that sucks I couldn't even see like outside the castle up close but it is what it is it says temporarily closed on Google to be fair, but I think um, usually you can actually go in and visit it. And I thought maybe that's just what it meant, but I don't think <clears throat> you can even walk outside it. Um, what Dunvegan Castle is, it's the oldest inhabited castle in Scotland. So, yeah. Anyway, um, next stop will be the Fairy Pools, which is another... 40 minutes I think um, but then we're getting close to doing our big journeys of the day Dunvegan Castle I mean <laughs> there you go there's Dunvegan Castle right there I bet that would be so beautiful up front up close even that's the same but it is what it is we are now close for the year our doors do not open again until the 1st of April, 2024. Interesting. Well, that was disappointing, wasn't it? But we shall move on. Now, the fairy pools... <coughs> what the... <coughs> Boys and girls, have you seen this? <coughs> Bro! You know, he wants you, he wants to fight you. <sighs> Can't believe that just happened. Oh my god, he's actually crowing. Is that even a word? I don't know, but I don't care. Look at him. He's shouting for backup. <laughs> that was wild. That was better than a castle. <laughs> Some David Attenborough shit. Right, let's get out of here before Mila and me by the looks of it gets beat up by him. That's not even a crow, I don't even know what that is. That's one of them, that's one of them Highland crows. Right. So I'm six minutes from my destination, but I am on the ICS, like the first icy roads I've been on. I can feel the car like spinning. So luckily I only have a short amount of time on here, but this part of the island or the Isle of Skye um, clearly doesn't get a lot of sun in certain parts. And uh, you can just see the side of the roads, the grass is a lot frostier. Um, but yeah, like the, the van definitely done a few wheel spins there. I'm going very slow. I'm just Wow. On we go to the fairy pools, which I think is another hour's hike. Mm. 
Okay, so the sign says apparently it's a 40 minute walk there, 40 minute walk back. So somewhat similar to my walk this morning. The good thing is, is I'm dressed more appropriately. I have water and more importantly, I have shoes that are meant for walking. So yeah, these boots are made for literally walking. <laughs> Cause I know you're thinking it. These boots are made. Although this here looks a bit intense. And it is, you know, it's more of the time of the day. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm just trying to do too much in one setting. Like, it's two o'clock, two hours of daylight left max, and that's being generous. Still got to find somewhere to stay tonight, so, um, yeah, come on this way. Anyway, no complaining, let's just get on with it and see the fairy pools. All right, some people would say, that we are actually cooking now. Don't even have to hold a lead. <laughs> um, dogs in these trails, they do have to be on leads at all times. And in case there's, you know, wild animals and cattle or whatever, and the dogs chase them off, which mice definitely would. So, but this is amazing. Look, I've got her hooked up to me. Easy. I do feel a lot more comfortable on this uh, on this trail that I'm dressed more appropriately. I don't feel like I'm sweating my Bolly goes off now, which is great. So, but this uh, this little incline here is somewhat worrying. Okay, starting to get a little bit tired. I think these last five days are catching up on me. Hey, I hope it's mostly just flat land from here. Hey. Okay, let me see if I can show you this. So, I'm here. That's back to me, and apparently I've passed the fairy pools. Now, to be honest with you, I can't imagine the fairy pools are up here because we're nearly at the base of the of the mountains, or the you know the bottom of them. So, I don't know, but I. I don't think I'm going to keep on walking because there's literally nobody up here now. I think I've passed him. How? I've only been walking like 20 odd minutes and it's a part, or maybe 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back. I think these, are these are the fairy pools? I don't know. I'm going to walk back the way, see if I've missed a sign or something like that, but there is literally, like, usually you would see people on the trails, but there is no one there. And it's like the water's almost stopping, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to walk back the way and hope that I've just missed the fairy pools. But I mean, they're essentially just these, right? Just little pools of water. Still beautiful, I'm just slightly confused. Is it bad that I want to just take off all my clothes and get in there right now? Because that's what I feel like I want to do. I'm not going to do it, obviously. But uh, that's really what I want to do. Get naked and go in that water. Anyway, I'm going to head back to the car now. Um, I don't know if the fairy pools is further up. I, I, and to be honest with you, I'm happy with what I've saw. I mean, the fairy pools are just basically these are little pools of water with waterfalls and they're all around me so I'm happy with that you know what I'll, I do wish as well that was like a hot spring right now imagine that hot spring vibey but it's not it's a cold spring anyway so obviously tonight be my final night and on the NC 500 trip I've been craving a pizza for a few days now. I tried to find one in Ullapool. There was no pizza places open in Ullapool. It's crazy. So I'm going to see where the closest pizza place is around here. Try and see if I can grab a few beers. Just park up for the night. Just have a really nice relaxed night. Just chill for my last evening. And enjoy myself. So 
if you see this clip, it means I was successful. If you don't, well, it doesn't matter, does it? So, let's go and see if we can find that. Mila's quite a towel. Oh. You are a pampered pooch. My wheel trim is literally hanging off the side of my van. I'm not even joking. Damn. Look at that. And it could stay on. But it could also not. Do I have cable ties? I don't have cable ties. Ah, okay. I'm just gonna take that whole thing off. Damn, that's an ugly tire as well. Shit. I don't even know what to do with this. Uh, okay. To be honest, I've been wanting to remove them. I hate those wheel trims, so it is what it is. I'll remove them all when I can find a bin. Ah, oh, fun and games, fun and games. Okay, I didn't even realise, but I'm actually heading back to Portree to go. I just found a pizza place that looked alright on Google Maps, and I was like, okay, let's just go here. And it makes sense, it's taking me back to Portree. Which is cool with me. I still don't know where I'm sleeping tonight. Um, I'm planning on ordering the pizza. Well, I want to just make sure the pizza place is open first. That's part of my worry as well. And once it's confirmed, I am going to then go to a shop, grab a few beers, and then I'm hoping to just find somewhere and park tonight um, in this area just to, uh, to pull over and have a good kit for the night. This is more of a restaurant rather than a pizza takeaway place and I don't really want to go in. Um, I don't really want to go in to a restaurant. I, pr I probably could just take it away um, but I um, I actually want to go into the Portree City now because, say, Portree Town because I want to go and find a shop as well. So I'm gonna basically, what I'm saying is I'm gonna to have to go in that way anyway. So I'm actually going to go a little bit further ahead and go into this pizza takeaway place. Oh, somebody's been pulled over by the police. Okay. Pizza is ordered. I'm gonna now look for a co-op. Lady said there's one up here, just on my left. Poor guy, old guy, he sounded German, came up to me and said, am I from here? And I was like, no, and he's like, ah, do you know anywhere to eat? I'm like, no, I'm not from here. <laughs> he says, everything's closed. I'm like, yes, sir. It's probably because it's winter season, but it is like, I'm, so, I'm just kind of glad he confirmed that for me. I'm kind of shocked at how much things are closed even in the winter season um but i says look i'm gonna get pizza here <laughs> this is exactly where i'm going right co-op next this is hilarious this is exactly the same co-op as i was at a few days ago <laughs> when i got my soup that's exactly where i am i actually look like a hobo right now it's rather impressive and embarrassing at the same time look at the state of me I just wanted to quickly show you this. Look at that. Damn, boy. Hi, madam. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Right, pick up pizza and we're gonna find somewhere to stay and then we'll get you some food and a treat, okay? Secured the goods and now we just need to find somewhere to sleep for the night. Okay. 
I think I have a spot. It's it's just off the road. I think it'll do for tonight, to be honest with you. Ideally, I would have had like a nicer view for my last night here in Sky, but at this point, I just want to... Um, I just want to basically get somewhere to sit down and have a pizza basically that's all i want oh my god it looks absolutely glorious i can't even wait until like getting packed up i just need to eat right now i'm so hungry like i'm literally i've only had that porridge uh, that um wheatabix today that's all i've had this will do me for the night beautiful mountains in the background little uh little stream down there i'm gonna get in the back of this van because i'm already making a mess of myself and get uh the pizza and beers on the go excuse me madame ah <laughs> this is just what you want after a long day oh. i might <sighs> Oh my god, oh my god. Let's just get right to the important stuff right this second. It's actually so hot in here. Which is good, it's a good thing that it's so hot in here. Right, first things first, let's just crack open a beer. Oh no, I bit my spoon opening that beer. Right, I'm officially not moving tonight. Oh my god, it tastes so good. I'm not gonna lie, a little bit disappointed with the pizza. It's a tad undercooked. They've just not. They, they taste great, but they've just undercooked it, which is bloody annoying. But that's what it is. Let me devour this pizza, and then we'll talk some more. Unfortunately, my little gas heaters have run out, as I've mentioned, probably about a million times right now. So that means I am gonna run my car for like half an hour just to get some heat in the van because it's so cold. I don't know if it's just the West Coast or if it's maybe like the um, just the weather right now, which took a bit of a cold turn, probably that. Oh. Oh, it's only 7.30 p.m. but I am so ready for bed. I'm already in my sleeping bag. Mila is cocooned in. I've got the extra layer of the blanket on top of me as well. And to be honest, kids, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to stay up much longer. It's been a, a jam-packed day. Um, a mixed emotions about tomorrow being the last day on the NC500. I'm kind of sad about the reality of going back to Edinburgh and being in a flat. Like, I, I, I love I love this life. It's exactly what I want. And I hate that I can't do this full time yet. But when that day comes, it's gonna be the best day of my life. I just gotta keep working hard and Hopefully producing these kind of videos that you hopefully like and get better at it as well and you know Go from there, but um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go to sleep right now And I will see you in the morning For our last coffee in the Isle of Skye Before we make our way back to Edinburgh See you in the morning. Good night I look like a little babushka. Guys, it is by far the coldest it's been so far in this trip. It is, it says minus four degrees, but it feels like minus 24 degrees. It is so cold this morning. I slept really well, but I just knew even before I got out of my sleeping bag this morning, it's like, this is cold. I'm heating up the car right now, I'm going to boil the water, get some coffee on the go to heat myself up and then slowly 
start to get ready but uh, it's still so dark outside um so yeah i'm just going to slowly get ready but uh it's so cold okay it's time to dive to the outside world which i'm not looking forward to here i can imagine it's going to be absolutely freezing out here but that is what it is oh that is a pain in the ass Right, let me get my sliders on and let's get out of here. Oh, it is, oh my god, it's got ice. It is 8am and this is how dark it currently is still. As you can see, it is freezing, actually. I'm going to let Mila... Oh, my trainers are still wet, man. That sucks. It is a frosty ass morning. Oh, damn. She cold this morning. Oh, why is my van opening? Open little van. Please. Oh. Come on, then. Oh. Right, go for pee pees. <laughs> I'm not messing about here, kids. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly let Mila do her business, and I'm getting back in my vein. Cause it's too cold for this. Oof. Ooh. And that, my friends, is officially the end of my NC500 trip. I've now got a long journey back to Edinburgh so I can quickly get these videos up, refresh, reload, and then head on my next adventure on the Tour of England. It doesn't stop, I promise you. I hope this is a good little taster into what 2024 is about to bring. So please subscribe and join me on this journey as well. And I'd appreciate if you'd like this video, like all my videos. Anyway, thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart if you've watched all this trip i really do appreciate it i'm going to end it there and i hope you have a great day wherever you are in the world please stay tuned for more videos coming very soon goodbye